What's up, Deep Sea Divers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Subnautical Let's Play. This is episode 5, and we are going to go out and try the propulsion cannon again. You guys have given me some really good tips on the uh, propulsion cannon, and the one tip that I love the most is that we can shoot things at the enemy. Um, basically, you can pick up things like, uh, you know those fart acid guys? Supposedly, you could pick up their acid bombs and shoot them at, at enemies, but I haven't done that yet. But what I did do is I grabbed some acid mushrooms, and I hit some of those big gastropod things and i killed one so we're gonna we're gonna try that just for some fun here as a matter of fact you can see a um you can see one of the acid mushrooms right here i had laying around now it's not really practical to use as a weapon when you're out and about but you know i'm just gonna show you it because it's pretty freaking cool i would love to kill a stalker or a sand shark stalkers move kind of fast though i mean sand sharks do too but uh see why yeah i don't need that Let's see if we can find something to shoot these things at. Let's grab some too. Alright. There we go. How many is that? A lot. Let's grab more. We can always use more of these. Alright, inventory's full. Alright, let's try. Let's go find one. Let's go find something to kill. It's so cool, man. I just like... Shot the acid at the guy, the acid mushroom, and it hit him, and he went, Aah! and then he started shaking. There he is. There's one of those guys. Um, I'm not going to hit one of those guys just because, I don't know, it's kind of not a challenge. I kind of want to see if I can get a, a, you know, something that would actually want to hurt me. The problem with this is, it's a little bit too hard to set up. Because let's say you're going along, and you see an enemy that wants to hurt you. You know, what you have to do is, you have to go into here... Drop the acid mushroom, go to your propulsion cannon, pick it up. Oh, that's not picking it up. Oh, it's bat no battery. Alright, pick it up. And then you're ready. But, like, if something's coming at you, you're not going to have the amount of time to do that. So, I I it's not really, this is not really, um... Uh... It's not really practical, but it's still fun. Let's see if we can get one of these guys. I don't want to get both of them. There we go. How about you? Oh. See, now we have to come in here. Drop one. Pick it up. Oop. Oh, five. Pick it up. If I can get it. Oh, I pick. Oh, you know what I'm doing? I'm putting it back in my inventory. Hold on. I'm hitting the wrong button because I'm getting excited. All right, hold on one sec. All right, here we go. You right click to throw it at him. Come on. Come at me, bro. See? Oh! That pissed him off. Actually, he, I don't think he was running at me. I think he was running away. But you gotta hit him a few times. It's just not really a good weapon, but it's pretty interesting. I find it interesting, anyway. Let's come over here and get some oxygen. And let's try and get him again. So, I think if you put the propulsion can in your hand and then drop the thing, you could get it a lot quicker. Drop grab oh okay that's not too bad that's not too bad but then you're really slow then i mean really slow because you can't put the thing away yeah i won't be using it but it's pretty interesting what i want to get is the stasis rifle the stasis rifle is so much better jesus yeah this isn't this isn't working too well for me i am hitting him see he's running away Oh, damn it, I keep hitting the wrong freaking button. Did I hit him? I can't tell. Alright, so I can pick the thing up pretty easily. Hmm. Nope. The problem is you have to let him get too close, and I don't feel comfortable letting him get that close. Oh, I got him that time. He might be dead. He's dead. Oh, own sucker. You're going to die too, you son of a bitch. Oh, they don't like that. 
Got him! Alright, you know what? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. You, you also have to hold the things in your inventory. They take up a lot of room. <laughs> it's fun either way. Another thing you could do is use the, is use the propulsion cannon to pick, st pick stuff up. And then put in your inventory. So it makes it a lot easier to catch fish. But I think we're going to go back to the base. Um, because we are. this is not what we're going to be doing today. We are going to actually go to the grassy plateau to look for um, fragments. Specifically, uh, seamoth fragments. Okay, those batteries will have to do. Because we're going to get going. Alright, so... We got rid of the propulsion cannon. We don't need it. We got plenty of food and drink. We got some health. Not as much health as, I, health as I'd like, but we have not been paying attention to health health kits, so that's that's on us. Uh, we got tons of batteries, so let's go ahead and load this bad boy up with a hundred percent. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up there and get the other health kit up here, and then we're gonna head out to the grassy plateaus. Now there's um, it looks like there's four different grassy plateaus. So we're going to go to the biggest one first, because why not? Alright, so if we're up here, we're looking at the ship. The biggest grassy plateau should be... If I'm looking about right there, it should be about that way. Now, you'll know you're in the grassy plateaus, because um, when you get there, the grass will be red. Which is why I used to think it was called blood kelp. Alright. So we're passing through kelp forest. Yes, that's good. That's normal. To the right should be sparse reef, and to the left should be grassy plateaus, if I'm reading this map correctly. No, safe shallows to the right. Grassy plateaus a little bit to the left, maybe. That is grassy plateaus. That is the... Um, the safe shallows. So we're gonna get some oxygen, and let's do this, guys. We're looking for wrecks in here as well, in these grassy in these grassy plateaus. We're also looking for um, what do you call it? Uh, fragments can be scattered anywhere, and I'm probably not gonna pick up any items just because it's not really what I'm here for. Okay, we got some sand sharks on our ass. Oops. Oops, oops, oops. Come on up here. Hopefully they won't follow me to the surface. Yeah, they don't like to follow you to the surface. Alright. Um, I totally forgot to put my scanner in my hotbar. But, it's better than I thought. I actually thought I forgot to bring the scanner. I would have been pissed. Alright. Okay, five... Modification station is one of the things we do want. If we can live. Got it. Let's go. Yes, modification station is one of the things we wanted, by the way. It's the second thing we want the most after the sea moth. It's down here. Oh, that no, we don't want to go down there. I think that's the underwater mushroom biome thingy or whatever it's called. I forget what it's called. I'm not really going to worry about it right now. I'm going to stay focused. These sand sharks are way more abundant and aggressive than they used to be. What's that? Oh, it's an egg. Don't care about eggs. That's a wreck in the grassy plateaus. That's good. That's what we wanted. Let's go get some oxygen and we'll go down and check it out. Hmm. We'll also switch out the battery. Alright, battery... 100%. Um, did we have our laser cutter? We do. Let's put that on number 4. And let's give that a battery as well. Now the laser cutter is... If, it, if the laser cutter runs out of... If this... If this um, Sea glide runs out of power, it really screws me up. If the laser cutter runs out of power, it's not the end of the world. So I'll give the laser cutter the weaker battery. It's not 3%, but 66%. Alright, let's go. Let's 
Somebody said you could open up certain doors with the propulsion cannon or something, but I forgot to bring the propulsion cannon, so. Alright, laser cutter it is. Hopefully we don't get bothered here. Man, we really need to make that rebreather. Look at how fast our oxygen's going down. Alright, let's go up here. We'll heal, get some oxygen, and finish cutting that door. I'd like to cut out the part of cutting the door, but it's, you know, there's some exciting stuff going on here, so. Let's drink some water. Go back down. Man, we really should have made the rebreather. That was a bit of a mistake. Yep, yeah, these guys. Hopefully, they don't follow me down here. Oh, that's a Seamoth part, isn't it? Cool. Got him. Anybody else want to tangle with me? I'll bet you there's more Seamoth parts. Sweet. Oh, we got the Seamoth! Beautiful. Alright, let's see what else we can find in this area. Make sure we don't get chewed on. You're fucking dead. Piss off. You wanna dance? You wanna freaking dance, you punk ass bitch? Sorry about the language, but these guys are freaking aggravating me. They all dead? Well, three of them are dead. I don't know about the rest of them. Still gotta get that rebreather, for sure. I can't believe I didn't make the rebreather. That was a that was a mistake. Because when you get down that low, I'm going to say this again, I know I've said this in past videos, but when you get down that low, um, you start using up more oxygen. So. Punk ass. Are you alive? Oh yeah. No, you're not getting away. Or maybe you are. The hell, they're like disappearing and reappearing on me. Hacks. There we go. This thing, this, uh, this welding torch or whatever it is, uh, laser cutter, this thing eats up power like nobody's business, man. Like, I think you could get through two doors on a battery, maybe? Come on. Almost there, guys. Almost there. We got the Seamoth, though. It's already been a good day. Seamoth is probably the most single important item in the entire game. It opens up everything. Right, let's go get some oxygen and then we'll come back. The thing I hate about these wrecks is there's not usually fragments inside the wrecks. They're not ones that I care about. They'll be like... Like tables and chairs and stuff that I don't really give a shit about. Like, the really good good stuff is not in the wrecks, which I find kind of strange. There he is. That guy's no problem. He won't bother us. He is our friend. It is our friend. He, she, it is our friend. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Put this away. Nope, nothing over here. Nothing up there. We can open this. Nothing? See? There's never anything in here. Like, these look important. Why can't I scan those? Oh, look at this. I didn't even notice that. Um, should I cut through that? It might just go outside. Uh, yeah, no, there's another thing in there. I think you could pull these hatches off too with the propulsion cannon, someone was saying. I really should have brought the propulsion cannon, that was a... Oopsie. Next time I go to explore a wreck, I'll make sure to bring a the propulsion cannon. The reason I don't like 
bringing the propulsion cannon around with me is because the damn thing takes up too much space in my inventory. But the thing is, when I'm going for these wrecks, I don't pick up anything. So who cares if it takes up in my inventory? So yeah, from now on, when I go over, when I go after um, fragments, I'll make sure to bring the propulsion cannon with me. There's probably nothing good in here, but we'll cut through it anyway. Okay. We will go for some oxygen and then explore that. I'm surprised there's no sand sharks in the air. I'm very happy about that. Of oxygen remaining. Can't believe I got the seamoth already. I didn't think I didn't well, I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, obviously we're gonna get it, but I don't know. It just seemed kinda it seemed to go as planned, which, you know. <laughs> When I play these games, sometimes stuff doesn't go as planned, so some, when it does, I kind of get a little bit surprised. Okay. Yeah, you could definitely rip that off, rip that off I'll bet. Oh, a picture of a little girl. Okay, but there's nothing... See what I'm saying, guys? There's nothing in here, unless I'm missing something. Wouldn't be the first time. No, 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 there's nothing in here. All right, let's look around, make sure there's nothing else on the ground in the area that we can scan. I'm not seeing anything. What's that? Yep, I bet you I can scan something around here. That looks like something I can scan. But it's not. Oh, there we go. Modification station fragment hidden. Scan it, bro. Caution. Come on, scan the damn thing. Remaining. Darg! Is that the last piece I need for the modification? If that's the last piece I need for the modification station, this has been an incredibly... Or, or just an incredible success. Because those are the exact two things I wanted to get today. Unless I drowned right now. 10 seconds of oxygen remaining. Shit, this thing's out of ox this thing's out of power, that's why I'm going so slow. Well, I'm not gonna change the battery now. Okay, that was close. See what I mean, man? If you let that thing run out of power, especially if you don't notice it ran out of power, it really screws you up. But it worked out. Let's get this bad boy. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, it's so good. So good. New blueprint acquired. Let's see if there's anything else in the area before we head back. I always like to search these places really well because usually when I leave you guys you guys are like, Cage, you missed this and that and this and that. So all right, let's start heading back. All right, so we got the uh, modification station and the Seamoth um, fragment. So what we're going to do tomorrow, or next video, is I am going to make the upgraded flippers. Uh, I'm going to upgrade these uh, fins so I can go faster, so I can stop carrying this thing around in my inventory. Um, I love the Sea Glide, but it's just too damn big to make it, to justify it. Um, I think, personally, in order to make the Seamoth more palatable, I think one of these O2 tanks should fit inside the Seamoth. How cool would that be? Because the Seamoth is, is still bigger. The Seamoth's still a little bigger than the O2 tanks, but if you could put an O2 tank in there, you could save this amount of this amount of slots, and that makes the Sea Glide all the better. I, th I think that would be a cool idea, because right now, um, the Sea Glide, sorry, the Sea Glide. Because uh, right now, the Sea Glide's kind of not really great it just takes up too much room that's all it just takes up too much room and the fins are pretty pretty fast not as fast but fast 
like pretty close. What's happening to him? I don't know. Anyway, um, so yeah, we'll make the fins. When we're done making the fins, we will make a, um, I forget what it's called. Let me see what it's called. When we're done with the fins, we'll make a mobile vehicle bay, and then we will make the Seamoth. I believe we can do all three of those tomorrow. Next time I record. Next video. I don't know why I keep saying tomorrow, but... Almost home, guys. Almost home. By the way, um, this uh, escape pod is supposed to be drifting. Um, a lot of people say you fix the escape pod. And I said, why would you want to fix, it, fix the escape pod? What does it do for you? Because you could take the welder and fix this little life, life pod system. And then the, the, um, this, the, um, the life pod will stop drifting. But here's the thing. And I've seen it happen in other people's games. But in my game, this thing never drifts. So repairing that's completely pointless for me. But if your escape pod is drifting, then go ahead and repair that. It might help. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Good to be aboard. All right, so let's put a bunch of batteries in here. Zero. Three. Zero. Twenty-eight. All right, guys. Um, we're going to call this one a little bit early because I actually got done with that a lot earlier than I thought I was going to. So, a little bit short of a video, but you know what? We succeeded in what we were trying to do, and that's the important thing. So, I'm going to call this one here. That is going to be it for episode 5, and we'll see you next time for episode 6. Till then, take it easy.